Hi viewers, welcome to Lamy Solution. Today we are going to see about vehicle to grid and the grid to vehicle operation in the previous grid with bidirectional DC DC converter in MATLAB. So this is a similar model uh, used for the three phase grid connected uh, bidirectional DC DC converter with battery. So here you can see that so this is a three phase source. The three phase source having voltage of 450 volt with the 50 hertz supply. And here you see the drive, so this one known as LCL filter, and then here you see that this is universal bridge. So in this universal bridge will be act as a three phase converter, so it will be act in both directions. So it will be uh, send the power from uh, battery to grid and grid to battery, so it can be uh, operated in both direction. So in the in universal bridge for three phase, right? So you must select number of uh, bridge jump is three. Okay, and then you must select that uh, power current device is IGBT and the diode. Okay, so next thing is this inverter, right? Or converter is connected to the battery, so EV battery. So this EV battery connected via this bidirectional converter. So this is known as bidirectional converter. So why we are using the bidirectional converter? So we need to operate system in the vehicle uh, vehicle to grid. That means that means vehicle battery going to supply the power to the grid. As well as grid to vehicle mode, so we are going to take the power from the grid to charge the EV battery. So in order to operate that uh, power in both directions, so we need a uh, this bidirectional uh, DC DC converter in between this EV battery and the three phase converter. So next we are going to see about the controlling of this uh, bidirectional converter, right? So how we are going to control? So for that we are going to use uh, the battery. Current that means we are going to measure the battery current and battery current will be compared with the reference current that means reference current for a vehicle to grid and a grid to vehicle operation. Okay, so here you see that right when you are fixing that uh, current equal to 30, so then it will be act as a vehicle to grid operation. Okay, so when you are fixing the current is minus 30, that means uh, it will be act as a grid to vehicle concept. Okay. So the reference current here you need to fix um, positive for a vehicle to grid operation, negative for a grid to vehicle operation. So this reference current will be compared with that uh, battery current. Then here we are going to process via PA control. So this is PA controller and this PA control will be con uh, act as a current controller and it will be generate the duty cycle. So this duty cycle will be processed via pedulum generator. So this is a pedulum generator. So this pedulum generator will be generate the pulse that means switching pulse for this bidirectional converter. So the direct pulse is given to the, the low, lower IGBT diode and the complement pulse is going to be given to the upper IGBT diode. Okay. So according with the uh, current reference and the actual current of the battery and this converter will be controlled both in vehicle to grid and the grid to vehicle mode. Okay. So next we move on to that uh, control of this uh, universal bridge or three phase converter. So this is going to be controlled by means of two methods. One is outer voltage control method and the inner current loop control method by using feed forward decoupling control concept. Okay. So for that here we are measuring that means here we are measuring the grid voltage. Okay. So this is a grid point voltage or point of common coupling voltage. So then it, here we are uh, process via this uh, PLL and PLL will be generate the uh, omega t. So omega t nothing but the phase angle with respect to time. So next we are uh, process that means we are process that uh, VG via this APC to DQ conversion. So because we are going to apply that DQ control concept in feed forward decoupling control. So we are converting ABC to DQ not form and then we are going to get uh, VD and VQ. So direct axis and the quadrature axis voltage and current voltage. Okay. So next we are measuring the, so here, here we are measuring the inverter current, okay. So the inverter current will be converted into DQ not form by using that uh, power transformation and we are having ID and the IQ, okay. So now we are converted that uh, VG into VD VQ and the uh, uh, inverter current into ID IQ by means of PML concept. So we are using phase lock loop for synchronization of the uh, previous converter with the grid. So next we are going to measure another uh, that means uh, here we are going to apply the voltage control method. So here you see that right here we are 
measuring the DC link voltage. So across that the inverter, input of the inverter or output of the bidirectional DC disc converter. And here we are going to measure the reference voltage is 1000 and it is going to be processed via uh, PA controllers. This B, PA controller is going to act as a voltage controller. So it is going to be control this DC link voltage and it will be provide the reference current. So the reference current nothing but the ID reference. Okay. So this is the ID reference current. So already we measured that ID IP here. So this is actual of, actual ID IP of the inverter. So this ID reference for that inverter. So here we are comparing that IP reference we are making equal to zero. So here we are comparing ID and IP reference with the ID IP actual and then it going to be processed via PA controller. So this is a PA controller. So this PA controller is act as a current control. So the output of PA controller is going to be added with the, here you see that right. So IQ, Omega L and the ID. So here that another control signal is uh, separated with the ID, Omega L. And here we are adding VD and the, here we are adding VQ. And then finally we are getting that uh, control voltage. So that control voltage is uh, divided with, so multiplied with the VDC. And then it going to be processed via, that means here we are going to, again we are going to convert that uh, DB naught form into APC form by using uh, uh, part transformation. Okay. So next we are going to apply that, uh, that means the output of part transformation, so inverse part transformation is going to be processed via sinusoidal pyruvium. Okay. The, the output of uh, sinusoidal pyruvium generated is a pyruvium pulse. So it will be generated 6 pulse. So this 6 pulse is going to be given to this inverter. Okay. So it going to be, uh, that means this controller, right, this both voltage and current controller will be going to be uh, control this DC link as well as control the power direction, that means current direction of the, the previous converter in order to operate the system into vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle mode. So now I am going to explain more about the result. So first we need to check uh, that means show that uh, different scopes. Okay. So this is the scope of uh, battery voltage, battery current and the SOC of the battery and this is inverter active power and the reactive power. So this is grid point active and reactive power. And here you see that this is AC voltage and the current. That means point of uh, common coupling voltage and the current of the point of common coupling. And then here you see that right. So this is phase voltage and current. Okay. So now I am going to simulate this model. Already I told right. Uh, initially we have the from 0 to 1 second. We are fixing that current is 30 amps. So that means positive current. So then it will be act as a vehicle to grid concept. So after from 1 to 2 second we are fixing that the reference is 30 amps. So that time it will be act as a grid to vehicle concept. So first time we going to simulate this one. So now you see that right and uh, the current is maintained at 30 amps. So and the SOC of the battery is keep on decreasing. And also you see that right we are sending power from the vehicle to grid. So voltage and current both are having in phase. Okay. So that means grid receiving the power. So here you see that this is a real power of that uh, inverter and this is a real power of the grid point. So this is a reactive power. At the time of one second we are changing reference to minus 30 amps. So now if you see that right the battery comes to minus 30 amps. So battery in charging mode. Now you see that right the voltage and current of the grid will be 180 degree shift. That means we are taking power from the grid to vehicle. So that's why it is 180 degree uh, phase shifted. Okay. And then you can see that real power, right? Real power comes to negative direction. So that means the grid is supplying power to the vehicle. Okay. So this is a concept. So here the settings of the current, right? 30 and minus 30. So as per the result, you can see that, right? Uh, you can see the transient of the current also. So this is the uh, transient from vehicle to grid to grid to vehicle mode. Okay. And also you will see the transient here also. The time of one second. So, we will see the difference of phase changing, right? So, here in this portion, up to one second phase will be both having voltage and current will be in phase. Uh, after one second, right, the voltage and current will be out of phase. We need to be out of phase, okay? So, it indicates that operation of vehicle to grid and uh, grid to vehicle mode. So, when uh, after seeing that result, that system will be operated correctly in 
grid vehicle as well vehicle to grid so this is a simulation model of uh, the vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle operation with the three phase grid along with the bi-rational digital circuit converter in the vehicle system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye